This was the moment a second explosion hit the Daya Hotel in central Mogadishu. Journalists, emergency services, and the police had gone to the hotel after the first explosion when a vehicle packed with explosives rammed into the gate. A gang battle between the attackers and security guards followed. Several people were killed, dozens, including journalists, injured. Much of the hotel, which is popular with politicians and businessmen, was destroyed. Other surrounding buildings were also damaged. Al Shabaab has claimed responsibility. In recent years, the armed group has carried out many attacks on African Union bases, United Nations and government compounds, popular hotels, and other fortified buildings. This analyst says he's worried that such attacks may continue ahead of the presidential election, which has been postponed several times because of logistical and security reasons. It says that we haven't done a good job. And for Al-Shabaab, I mean, like, it's, it's going to be costly to carry out these kinds of attacks in places that we somewhat believe are safe and secure. So they would rather lose four or five of their men and carry out that kind of attack and rupture, you know, the false sense of security that we have. Somalia's security forces are still weak. AU forces thinly stretched and underfunded. al Shabaab fighters have in the past been able to attack military positions of AU and Somali troops in different parts of south-central Somalia. And also we somewhat deluded ourselves into thinking that fine, al Shabaab has been pushed back, their senior leadership are being attacked by the drones from the air, you know, from the sea they are being attacked. However, the al Shabaab doesn't need that amount of capacity to be able to do, to carry out these kinds of attack. And as long as Somali National Army is not functional, is not there, um, we cannot really provide support. The, the support from African forces can only take them so far. One of the biggest challenges for the troops in Somalia is ensuring that the upcoming presidential election is held safely. The government says its forces, alongside the African Union troops, are prepared and ready to provide that security. But many Somalis do not feel reassured. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.